hey, you guys, um, Hany is a girl. Please, you guys, Hanya lives matter. I know, I know some of you guys might be confused out there. I understand. I was at first too. But after a lot of research and a lot of soul searching, I've come to the conclusion that she is indeed a female. I do have proof for this. We will be talking about it as soon as possible. But I have some way more exciting stuff to be showing you guys this video. So, yeah, let's have some fun. Literally, anytime I get onto a CN server, uh, it feels like I'm stepping out of a hyperbolic time chamber whenever I come back to global. I'm like, yes! I know so much more now! Totally going to be a piece of cake. Anyways, you guys, hit that like button. Show some thanks to our good friend, Chillam. Chillam. You guys, before before we start... <coughs> before we start, give Remy... Give Remy a... Give, everybody give Remy kisses. She's been super sad ever since she came back from her surgery. All right, my bros. Kaguya is coming out in five days, so let's talk about her skills. Her first skill being her auto attack or hooray branch. Okay, basically just a single target, 100% uh, attack damage, uh, plus the 10% chance of stealing an orb from an enemy. Just your general auto attack, not a big deal. Now her passive is the fun part. Her passive activates Dragon Jewel. You have to have her evolved, but her passive activates Dragon Jewel at the start of turn. And on top of that, it, it does give a 40% chance to recover one orb whenever an ally, including yourself, take damage. Putting Soul Edge on her, I'm not sure if that also makes it so that it procs twice, but I know for a fact that multi-hit and AoE don't stack. So if you get hit by like, Somebody who hit, like Yoda, who hits six times or something, you're not gonna get a 40% ch chance into six. This is where she this is where she comes to life, the Dragon Jewel, and this does activate at the start of battle for two turns. Your allies receive a 25% def defense buff and a 20% effect res buff. And on top of that, each of your Shiki has a 67% chance to generate one orb. She is going to be a huge meta changer. You guys, I really hope that you end up pulling her when you summon. The soul set that most people run on her is going to be Soul Edge, but you can also run Tree Nymph, Sea Spirit, Azure Basin, Fortune Cat, along with a couple of other sets that I've seen out there. Uh, the one that, I think it's Sinensia, where if you get hit, you stun the enemy. I know that a lot of people run Run that on her as well because a lot of people target her from how powerful of a shiki she is as you can see our good friend over here has built her pure hp which i think works perfectly fine with soul edge i probably will be building her hp and effect res but i generally like having a lot of effect res on my team so it's hard to say if i go soul edge i'll definitely be stacking hp if i decide to use one of the other sets i'll probably uh, add an effect res or try and basically roll a hp soul edge set with effect res substats. That sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and talk about Oitsuki. I know a lot of you guys out there want to be building her and don't know how to use her or how she's best used. So the way she works is she gives your team orbs by accelerating your orb bar. Uh, what am I talking about? At the bottom of your screen, whenever you're in a battle, there's an orb bar every time you get a turn. It increases by one. When it's full, you get, I think, plus four or five uh, mana or orbs or whatever you want to call it. Let's go over her skills real fast. Her first skill being Inviting Moon. In a single target attack, that has a 20% chance to move up your own move bar. Already looking at this skill, I know that if I'm accelerating my move bar and accelerating my teammate's move bar, I definitely want to be using speed and a generally fast team including fortune cat on her as well with each level up to her main skill it's just a damage increase so it's not the biggest of deals her second skill moon's boon moon's boon sorry uh is going to be her passive cost zero orbs she increases her own move bar at the start of the fight by one and that increases all the way up to four so if you don't have this max on her you're not going to want to be using her for pvp clear moon is an aoe buff that has a multitude of different effects for your team starting off with the level five effect which gives a shield that can resist an effect or status once during battle that does include sleep days morph silence it also does give you a 30 percent attack bonus so if you're using her, you don't need to use Samai's uh, star up, as I don't think those tend to stack. You're going to want to generally use Amulet of Death. Those do stack, however. 
It, the buff also gives your teammates 30 flat speed, which isn't the biggest of deals. But because you're going to be running a speed focused team as it is, meaning that if I if I was to put her on our team, I would include Shishu, Hannah, and an Excel. Every single person on that team has a, has a percent chance to either increase their self or their teammates move bars, making it a really fast team. You throw in some kind of crowd control and you have a very controlling team as is the enemy can very much find themselves unable to move for the entire fight so the the flat speed isn't the biggest of deals but everything else about her kit is great i don't think she's going to be your best bet for pve if anybody does use her P for pve and, and makes it work just let me know but i personally would prefer zash or kagu over her any day in pve not to mention we typically don't use orb supplies for pve in anything other than soul 10 at which point you're better off just throwing in any any zash that's speed tuned so you guys when adding her to a pvp team keep in mind that she needs to be placed into a fast team and you want your other shiki to be fast as well when it comes to soul sets i think your best bet would be fortune cat unless you're running a low orb count team in which you can actually throw in anything you want on there. You're gonna want speed for slot two, and then effect res for slot four, and HP for slot. Well, let's say if you're not grade six, you don't want to give up the HP in slot four as you're already running speed in slot two. If you are grade six and have the extra flat stats from being grade six or max level, then you can probably get away with running one single HP soul. If you don't want to use Fortune Cat on her, Sea Spirit works as well, along with Azure Basin um, and any sort of defensive utility set. Well, I figured we might as well have some fun while we're on the CM server and play around with some of the SSR he has maxed. When I, when I said some, I, I clearly meant all. He has all the SSR. He even has this new one who is super cool. She reminds me of those three-faced mask dudes, uh, each with a different kind of buff or debuff. So. If I had to guess, it would be something along those lines. And we're gonna get to use Tamo. I know a lot of you guys out there are hardcore Tamo lovers. So let's let's do some Realm Raid as they're fun and they're easy. Now, I do wanna say I've been dueling on his account uh, whenever duels come up and I'm free. And it's insane. The difference between duels on CN server and duels on global is just, you guys, it's, it's not even the same game. If you're somebody out there who enjoys a challenge, then you are in for a, a hell of a ride. Because, I mean, I get super excited when I realize how more in-depth this game is about to get. If you're somebody who doesn't like the idea of this game getting more challenging, I will guarantee you right now, keep in mind, okay, I'll tell you, this, this guy's account is casual he's a casual player from what i can tell he might not have been in the past but he plays pretty casually now and he's free to play so everything you see he has done without s spending a single penny on the account all right check this out this move is awesome oh my lord oh, jesus oh my damage <laughs> oh my god that's tamo you guys we'll we'll, we'll cover him or her it's a very it, she, she he i can't remember they have an extremely cool background story as well and it's all like mixed in with mythology and uh, the history you guys all know wasabi by now um but i'm telling you right now i go into pvp on this account and it's just so much new shiki so so everybody has G6 everything. So I know it's going to be a lot of fun and it's a lot more challenging, which makes the game more fun as well. All right, let's see if we can get another big hit in. This is just too satisfying. It's just so fun. Oh my, oh my God. What did I just witness? What is that damage? How is that okay? How is that not just busted? Oh my lord. You guys, it's just too fun. It's just so fun. But hold on, there's actually this really other cool thing I wanted to show you guys as well. Uh, check this out. So I was going through his souls and I fed one of his souls and that's when I hopped into this screen. These things are like, we, we, get, a, we get a very small amount of them on the global servers. Look how many of them, they, he's, he's, it's just insane. Look at, look at these ones. This thing at the bottom is really... What is that? 
Wait, what? What did I just click? Okay, I'm sorry. Can can we move this little guy though, buddy? Okay. Let's hop back in here, yeah. Oh, I equipped it. I got so scared. I was like, what did I just do? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Check these bad boys out, right? So each one of these gives like eight levels to your soul. And that's not it. The yellow, each one, each different color has a different chance. So like the pink, I think this is pink, increases your chance for the stats to roll into crit. I think by 58% or up to 58% and they have different colors. So a color for crit, a color for speed, a color, you know, and etc. which is just insane. Think of like that godlike soul drop that you got, right? And you're praying it runs, rolls into the right stats. Well, this increases the chance that your godlike soul actually comes out the way you want it to be. One of the other cool things I noticed with his account is he has like a third soul slot. Apparently they have like this super cool boss. Uh, which I'm pretty excited to get, but hey, more souls is always good, right? All right, bros, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully something of it was helpful. Leave a like, leave a comment, say what's up in game, and uh, as always, have a great day, and I'll see you in game.